have seen this video done before by other creators but I thought I'll do my own version of 50 of this idea for the winter time mind you as I mentioned previously I do live in a light winter climate weather state <laughs> and so feel free to accommodate by taking or adding layers to your outfits my jewelry room is the same throughout the video same ring stack that I usually wear I have my wedding ring and then this little diamond ring is from Majuri on my right hand I have this other one also that is from Majuri and my right hand index finger this one is the one that I constantly change depending on how I'm feeling so today I have the one that I got from Italy when I was there a couple months ago but throughout the video I switched it for the one that my mom gave to me my two everyday necklaces I almost never take them off this one is the solo diamond and that one with the pearls which I forgot the name of it but they're both from my jewelry and I'll link them down below and the longer necklaces they're both from Pamela Carr don't forget to like this video if you do like it and subscribe if you haven't and let's start it starting with a pair of blue jeans because this wouldn't be an Elise styling video if I didn't include my denims for this next six outfits I'll be styling this taper high-rise denim from reformation which have been a go-to of mine lately Though this top is open at front, it's made in wall so it makes it more warmth but if you need to lay it underneath it, you can with a tank top for more warmth but also for more coverage. I am wearing my beloved loafers which I have been wearing non-stop since I got them in October. This jacket is my warmest wool coat I own and it's a go-to of mine for when it's freezing temperature and I don't want to wear a puffer jacket. I love the subtle pattern detail for more versatility and of course how comfy and stylish it is. You can really go wrong with a long wall coat. I am in need of a black crossbody bag but I couldn't decide what I wanted until recently and so I'm saving up for it. In the meantime, this is the only black bag that I own and so this will do for now. A pair of jeans and a black top is a go-to of mine for a day-to-day -day basis but I think it's also a nice base to build up an outfit and make it more elevated or more casual depending on the look that you're going for. For a more conservative look, this mock neck sweater is from Cezanne and I love how the button detail makes it an elevated basic which adds a little something to the outfit. I don't always belt my bottom but I decided to add a belt for a more polished look. This coat is my newest addition to my coat collection and probably the most comfiest and stylish coat I own. It's also one that is very versatile, I love styling it and you will see it throughout many of my outfits in this video. This sweater is from Banana Republic and I love the dramatic sleeves which again gives a little something to an otherwise simple sweater. If the weather requires it or when I want to go for a more conservative look, I will lay it underneath it with a tank or turtleneck. My boots are the daddy boots from Nisello and this brown bag is a new one in my wardrobe. absolutely love the style and it's one of the two only bags that I'll be styling throughout the video. If I need a coat, a wool camel coat will be my first choice for a more cohesive look with a sweater and the boots being in a neutral shade but the one I have, it won't fit me through the sleeve and so I went for the next best thing which is this rich brown coat from Arezia which I think also looks good. I am layering up with this wall turtleneck which is an old one of mine and this black chunky cardigan from Everlane. I love how cozy and intentional a layer cardigan looks and this one is one of my favorite of mine. My white loafers are a new in in my wardrobe and I love how comfy and stylish they are. Keeping the same base but swapping the cardigan for a button up, this one is a look that I wear pretty often and it doesn't take long to put together, it also looks very intentional. This cashmere hoodie I have been eyeing for a while, I have it in camel from a different brand and I wear it all year round and so I decided to go for this rich brown shade. It is a hoodie but because of the material it looks more classic and luxurious than a cotton hoodie would look for example. If I need to add a coat, a camel coat like this will be my go-to. I am wearing the same dairy boots I wore earlier and the same brown bag. Keeping the same hoodie and swapping the bottoms, these trousers are from Everlane. They are made in linen and so I wouldn't wear them when it's freezing temperatures. I love the olive color of them and the oversized fit makes it perfect for a chill casual day. On my feet, I am wearing these retro style sneakers which are also from Everlane. 
I got them a couple years ago and I like how they look with a stray leg or a white leg trousers. This of white denims are the oldest denim I own in my wardrobe. They have gotten a bit too cropped for my liking, but I love the fit regardless, so I refuse to part ways with them. I like the white and brown combination almost more than a black and white because the brown is much softer and less contrasting. I am wearing my Oxford from Nicella to so just up the look a bit. And if I have to add a layer, this camo coat will be the one I will go for. I am keeping the same base and swapping the top for this black Tudor neck. I love white stripes. I think it makes it for a more classic and unique style. I am wearing the same old jacket. I like how good it pairs with the Oxfords. I am swapping the Tudor neck for a wool sweater and my white loafers. I love the texture on this net sweater and the style of it. I am adding back this jacket and I love how it brings the whole outfit together making it for a more fun look. When in doubt, make it monochromatic. I love how soft this cashmere sweater is and I like the color detail on the sleeve and the different texture that it has throughout. I got it over the Black Friday sale and I have been wearing non-stop since because I love how versatile it is. I cannot think of something that this sweater wouldn't pair well with. I find this look so simple, yet because of the stripes, it's one that feels classic and timeless. A pair of denims and a stripe top is a combination that you would have seen 20 years ago and you will see 20 years from now and it still won't feel outdated. Keeping the same style of outfit, I am swapping my white loafers for my black ones and the white pants for these black ones that are from Everlane. I got it a year or so ago and absolutely love the fit and the cut of them. I've been having so much fun styling this sweater. I love the brown button details on them and I find it so easy to style. Again, layering underneath it with a tank top or a turtleneck. In this case, I added my black tank top from Adexia, I believe, and keeping my same shoes and this brown bag that I recently added to my wardrobe. And for a little pop of something, I added this long necklace from Pamela Card. You can never go wrong with an all black outfit, it's so nice and classic and elevated. I got the same corduroy trousers from Everlane and I added back that sweater that I styled at the beginning of the video with the strings and I put a tank top underneath it, it's the same one from Arezia, added my brown bag and voila! For this one, I decided to swap the little strings cardigan and do this one with the buttons. They're also from Everlane and it's also a cardigan that I've been styling a lot lately. I have been looking for a turtleneck with white stripes and I couldn't find it until Evelyn came up with it and I couldn't wait and got it right away because I absolutely love it. I think it's a nice and unique take to a stripe shirt, in this case a turtleneck. It feels nice and soft as all of the turtleneck from Evelyn feels. I'm adding back that jacket for a fun look. I wore this look or a similar one to this look to a concert slash stand-up comedian and I got so many compliments especially because of the jacket I think it's so classic and versatile and it's one that I will for sure be repeating I love this checker type of pattern <laughs> pants they're all from Everlane and I love the oversizedness of them and I pair it with the same tank top I was wearing earlier in the fun big sleeve stylish sweater that I also was wearing earlier and now I am putting back that black cardigan over the same tank top and I love these pants I think they go with so many tops it's so versatile I'm adding that big coat that makes just any outfit pop you can wear whatever you wear underneath it and once you add that coat it just brings the whole outfit to a whole nother level and I love it I didn't love this whole look together. I love the pieces separately, but I don't think the sweater will go well with these trousers. I don't know if it's the style of the color. I think it's a very light color sweater and I prefer like more uh, yellowish undertone and so it might just be the whole sweater. <laughs> but I went and styled it with this uh, brown hoodie and I feel like it looks so much better. <laughs> and as sneakers, I decided to swap the loafers for this retro style sneakers, the same one I was wearing earlier from Everlane. For a less casual, more stylish, or more elevated look, I have added a belt 
to the trousers and I swapped the sweater for a turtleneck. This one is also from Everlane. Most of my turtlenecks are from Everlane. I love how soft they are and comfortable. And I think that this look will be perfect for a either date night or even like an office type of event where you need to look more classic and elevated. You can add a blazer if you need to make it more office appropriate, but I am adding my fun puffy coat or jacket. This is so warm by the way. I wore through a very cold night two nights ago and it kept me warm all throughout the night for a break from trousers i decided to style this skirt it's from Cezanne. i did do a review on it and i love the length and the style of it and it's nice and silky and soft and comfortable i took it to new york on my last trip to new york and i styled a couple times and absolutely loved it was really comfortable and I decided to keep the same turtleneck and add my fun jacket the shoes. These shoes are from, I got it, Italy. They're from Italy. <laughs> and now I am wearing my cardigan. I just added over the turtleneck for a more comfy and warm and casual look. This dress is a recent new in and I absolutely love the fit and how comfortable it is. It's a net sweater dress and I love how it is tight fitted on the body but because of my body type I still have some wiggle room around the waist and so it's not like uncomfortably tight. It's nice and comfortable, still stylish and I absolutely love the fit. I style it when I wear I forgot what I started with, but I did not love the fit, but this one I did find it more flattering. I'm adding that big puffy stylish jacket of mine that I told you I was going to be styling a lot. And I think it looks so good with these boots that I got in Italy and my brown uh, bag. <laughs> I am planning styling in so many different ways, especially once the spring comes and it warms up and I can just wear with a denim jacket or a cardigan or a sweater like I am right now. I'm just adding this um, cashmere hoodie that I also styled before and I feel like it looks so nice, especially because the boots have the lace on the boots are brown in this brown bag and so it's just a whole brown monochromatic look and I absolutely love the way that it came out. I am swapping the brown sweater for this tan one. I didn't love this tan sweater over that light brown dress, but I was just playing around and see how it looks, but I much rather the other brown sweater for a more monochromatic look. I feel like this sweater is coming out too yellow on the sweater um, dress, <laughs> but nonetheless, I think it still looks okay. I'm styling this white leg trousers that are made in this corduroy material. I got them in Italy and so I'm not able to link them, but I love the silhouette. It's one of my favorite foreign bottoms and I'm keeping that same sweater that I was wearing earlier <laughs> and a tank top underneath it. My loafers from Nisalo in my brown bag. <laughs> the same vase with the white leg trousers and the white tank top and I'm swapping that cardigan for this skinny. I still cannot get the name of this pattern right on this button up but I love throwing this over a fit like this for a more casual yet still elevated look and I feel like this is like look great for the fall but even for the winter or spring I mean <laughs> it feels very light and so I'll definitely be recreating this for the springtime. I'm keeping the same base with the white leg pants and the tank top and I added back that sweater which still feels off. <laughs> I think it's this cool tone does not look that great on me. It's not as flattering so I have to rethink and maybe sell it but I was going for a monochromatic look which is a go-to of mine <laughs> and now I'm styling it with this brown top which looks so much better. I cap the same tank top underneath it and I love like the contrasty look and uh, kind of like layering and then I decided to add this camo coat from the curated which is a go-to of mine for fall and winter I have for a couple of years now and I just love the style the fit and how nice and warm it is this denims have been a go-to of mine also for this past season. I love the oversizedness of them and though they are a little or 
maybe a lot of stiffed <laughs> but because they are oversized they feel nice and comfortable i love how i get to cuff them at the bottom they are super long on me because i am in the petite side and i make them extra long but i love how i get to cuff them at the bottom i do love that look and for my top it's from Cezanne. i swapped the top for this turtleneck <laughs> it's in brown and obviously it's from reformation and i think i got it over the black friday sale i absolutely love the fit and the feel is super soft and I decided to belt it for a more polished look and add my Oxford Monticello, feel more classic and elevated and the bag also makes it feel that way. I decided to add a layer and so I went for this sweater that I still <laughs> feel a little off about it and I didn't realize it until I'm looking at the footage, but I don't hate this look swapping the top and the sweater i decided to wear this white tank top it is from free people yes i have like three tank tops from free people they're amazing i'll link them down below if i can and this over top is actually from the main section this button up i got it in maywell when i went to visit nashville um when i first got here and absolutely loved it i told kyle that i will get it and then we can share it that's how i justify paying a pretty penny for it but it's so nice and comfortable and thick and so it works as a a button up but also as a sweater so it's a win-win so this hoodie i haven't styled in a while i usually wear it when i travel and so i figured that i would try to style it to wear it on a non-traveling place time <laughs> so it's i think it's because of all the coloring in it it's not um a go-to of mine but i still like it it's one that i do wear when i travel and now i'm wearing this um sweater shirt is from Alexia and I love the fit and the look of it I usually wear it without like anything underneath it but I um, figure I'll wear a bra for you because it is a little see-through and <laughs> so I decided to add a belt with these pants and my boots are the same boots that I wore earlier from Italy and now for a pyjama-ish, very comfy look. These are not pyjama pants, but kind of look like it. They are from Matewell. I got it on sale a month or so ago, and I find it so nice and comfy. And my shoes are the white loafers. <laughs> and now I put this cashmere sweater with it. It makes it feel extra casual, and so I don't know how I feel about this. But the loafers do make it feel more elevated, so I don't hate it. <laughs> Keeping the same cashmere hoodie, I decided to style with my um, very stiff <laughs> denims and my black loafers. Absolutely love this hoodie and I do wear it all year round, even during the summertime. I throw it over my shoulder for coldest evenings. And now I do want to style a couple of leggings um, outfits because I don't wear leggings on a daily basis unless I'm going to the gym, but I do wear when I'm traveling or um, very like few occasion but i do like them they feel so nice and comfortable and this is one way that i like styling it with a tank top and this over sweater jacket button up and my um, sneakers i usually don't wear any makeup when i'm traveling and so i always wear a hat to disguise my sleepy eyes <laughs> And now I'm starting with that traveling sweater, I call it, because I bring it everywhere I go when I travel. And just throw this camo coat over it to make it feel more elevated, more classic, and more like wearable. <laughs> I think that's it. I just don't love wearing leggings like outside of the gym, but something like this I have. And I do like wearing it like this. <laughs> I'm wearing it with that nice thick sweater <laughs> I don't know what else to say because I'm already oh so tired I'm so hungry um, and this beanie is from Italy my stickers and I really like this look especially when you layer over it makes it more classic and versatile and I can definitely see myself wearing this outside of my home and the gym I love that rich brown coat I always get compliments on it and I definitely will wearing this to my next trip maybe road trip somewhere <laughs> I am ready to go for a walk and get ice cream 
<laughs> so I'm running out of adjective to say to describe this looks but this one is an all-black look I decided to put together uh, because I feel like when it's a monochromatic one it makes it more elevated and it's less um, yoga-ish and active wear and especially because of the hat that I got in Italy also and the necklace and the bag it feels more like a dress up look and so it's definitely one that I will go for especially with this code which makes every outfit look just like a million times better I think I decided to wear this turtleneck underneath this t-shirt this t-shirt is a graphic one from reformation and I decided to go for my true size but it's still like an oversized one and though this one is like a more casual because i just have an oversized shirt with my leggings but because otherwise styling it with my turtleneck in this wool coat i feel like it feels also less um yoga-ish in active wear and then the same layering shirt and turtleneck i decided to pair with this uh, corduroy trousers from everland my camo hat that matches perfectly with the pants and the bag and I got my same um, high top black what do you call it <laughs> um, shoes converse yeah that same trousers same to neck and I decided to go for this vest is from information and I love the button details on it they are like this gold um, like daisy flowers and I love the fit i like wearing it over a turtleneck or i have done it over a like a long but a nap dress and it looks so good and i love how the brown on the bag goes perfectly with the brown on the pants and it's just pulling it all outfit together and this one <laughs> i decided to um since i am living in a western state um represent and wear my hat and just add that Sweater that I wore earlier over my turtleneck and I love the fit. I think it looks great. And switching that um, hat, I decided to go for my wall beanie and actually they're both made in wall. Yes, it's just different style. And this sweater is from Everlane. I decided to keep that black um, turtleneck underneath it and the dark shade bag and now I have the same turtleneck and I'm wearing that cardigan that I wore earlier over it I want to end with a very comfy look this pair of yogas it's also one that I don't wear often because they're very uh, casual for my style but I do wear them especially again when I'm traveling um, and one way I like to style my yogas is with an all monochromatic look it's not a set they didn't come together it's actually two different brands but that's how I like styling it for a more elevated look. I'm adding my cool glasses because I'm cool like that. Not really. <laughs> and this is the aftermath of filming this video. It literally took me five hours just to film the try on portion. And so I really appreciate it if you hit the like button if you do like it. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.